The following is a Broncos Broadcast Network production. Good morning, and welcome to the Broncos Broadcast Network. I'm Elias. And I'm Zane. Here are the stories for today's broadcast. We have this week's teacher spotlight. And we preview tonight's spring dance concert. BBN News begins now. Today is Thursday, April 18th, which is National Garlic Day and National Cat Lady Day. If today is your birthday, you share a birthday with Hayden Christensen, James Franco, and Kate Hudson. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. Seniors, make sure you are checking the school's Facebook page, facebook.com slash broncos DHS for scholarship information. Attention government students, when it comes to testing, you guys are up. Next Tuesday, you will be taking the FCLE exam. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Wagner or your government teacher. With testing in full swing, the schedules for the next few weeks will be adjusted. Monday and Wednesdays will become odd block days, while Tuesdays and Thursdays will become even block days, with Fridays remaining a straight seven. This will be the weekly schedule until May. Next Thursday, the Media Center will present their annual Poetry Power event. To submit your poem, please either scan the QR code on your screen or turn it into the Media Center. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Hoffman. Tonight is the third annual spring dance concert. Amari spoke with some of our dancers about this event. Hi, I'm Amari Walters, and today we're going to be interviewing student dancers about the third annual spring dance concert. For the spring concert, we have ballet, tap, modern, jazz, and musical theater. I'm doing jazz, modern, and musical theater. Uh, this year, I'm doing tap, jazz, musical theater, and modern. Um, I'm doing jazz, tap, ballet, and modern. I'm really excited to show these dances. I feel like this year they're really good, and I think everybody's going to love them. They're very exciting, and we do a lot of cool things in there. Uh, the big difference is that my class is doing musical theater for this one, and I feel like there's more dances this year, and we're also going to have a senior uh, slash alumni dance for the last concert, which I think is pretty cool because it's a new addition we have. I'm most excited to show the musical theater and my company dance. Uh, I think the musical theater is definitely new from last year. Uh, we've definitely improved and I'm excited to see everybody's reaction to it. Uh, I think the dances are really fun, especially the musical theater and the jazz number because we're doing um, the six, like the six musical and there's different characters and it's really fun. Uh, the winter concert, we were more festive and everything was really new, but um, with the spring concert, it's more for the seniors and we're sending them away. I'm more excited for musical theater and jazz because those are my favorite dances. I find them very, they're very, like, I really like them. Like, they're easy and they're really unique. It's a lot more, like, festive. And then the spring concert is just really to say goodbye to our seniors and stuff like that and just celebrate school almost being over. Um, to dance with my favorite seniors for my for the last time, and then, you know, it makes me feel like I'm closer to summer. Woohoo! This has been Amari with BBN News. Today's ACT word of the day is entail, which means to involve or include. A doctoral program entails long nights and a heavy workload. Polk State is offering a financial literacy workshop for high school students to help gain valuable insights into securing the financial assistance needed for the next steps in your educational career. The workshop will take place at the Lakeland campus next Thursday, April 25th from 5 to 7 p.m. The DHS Dance Spring Concert is so big this year that it will take place over two nights, tomorrow and Saturday at 7 p.m. Head to event ticketing on the DHS website to get your tickets today. Attention class of 2024, if you have not already picked up your cap and gowns, then you will have the opportunity to do so on May 1st. If you still need to order your cap and gown, you must do so by April 25th. That is the absolute last day to order your cap and gowns. Please visit HarifJonesTampaBay.com to order today. Attention students who failed a core academic class during this 2023-2024 school year. Summer school is coming up and will be offered at DHS. Classes will be from June 5th to 27th between 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. For more information, please see Ms. Gambrell Mercado. Seniors, during lunch on Thursdays, make sure you are filling out a raffle ticket for a chance to win two extra tickets to graduation. Mr. Duget will pick names every Friday until the seniors last Friday. The tickets will be in their envelopes after graduation practice on May 17th, which starts at 7.30 a.m. Congratulations to the students on the screen who have already won two additional graduation tickets. 
Make sure you enter on Thursdays during lunch for this week's raffle. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Duje. On to Broncos sports. The girls softball team is back in action tonight when they hit the road to take on the Lake Gibson Braves. First pitch is at 7.30. The boys baseball team is back on the road tonight when they face the Fort Meade Miners. First pitch is at 7 p.m. The girls' flag football team played their first ever state regional quarterfinal on Wednesday. The girls unfortunately fell to the number two team in the nation, 39-0. Congratulations on an amazing season, ladies. There will be a girls' volleyball interest meeting for current DHS students and incoming freshmen on April 26th in the gym at 6.30. Are you an underclassman who wants to be a cheerleader next year? Then you will want to attend Open Cheer, which continues on Monday. This will give you an opportunity to learn jumps and cheer motions in a relaxed setting. If you have any questions, please see Coach Key. The Davenport swim team will have an interest meeting for the fall season immediately after school on Tuesday, April 30th in Ms. Hoke's room, room 155D. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Hoke. On to this week's Teacher Spotlight, where we take a look at a teacher who has helped our Ag department reach new heights. Jerry O has more. Mr. Cornelius is re known for his exceptional skills as an ag teacher with a deep passion for farming and cultivating the next generation of agriculturists. He instills in his students a profound understanding of the land and its possibilities. His teachings goes beyond textbooks and incorporating hands-on experience and field trips to local farms, providing students with practical knowledge that they can apply in real-world scenarios. How does your ag teacher make this subject interesting and engaging for students? Um, he always finds ways to um say that we don't like get bored of it and ways that we'll learn new things at the same time. What kind of projects or assignments do you enjoy most in your ag class? Um, when we're um, doing things like outside with the chickens and like planting seeds and stuff like that. What inspired you to become an ag teacher? Um, I always wanted to be a teacher because uh, my parents were, and in high school I started taking ag, and I was like, oh, this would be perfect, good to go outside, hands-on activities and stuff. What opportunities do students have to participate in extra extracurricular activities related to ag? Um, they can do SAE projects, which is like showing steers, plants, pigs, um, the CDE or LDE contest through FFA, like uh, forestry, poultry judging, meats evaluation, tractor driving, and that sort of thing. How do you stay updated on the latest advancements and trends in ag? Uh, I try to stay updated, particularly with the cattle, because that's where my biggest interest is, just by uh, looking at the universities out west. I do a lot of cattle research and see what, what's going on in the trends and stay up with the market pricing and all that. What career paths do you often see your students pursue after graduating? After graduation, um, I've, well, this is my eighth year teaching. I've had four former students that are currently ag teachers and others that one works for, was it Tyson Chicken at one of their laying houses and different things like that all throughout the fields. Are there any specific projects or initiatives your students have worked on recently that you are pr particularly proud of? Yeah, we had uh, some students show at the State Fair, Central Florida, and the Polk County Youth Fair. They did really well on their projects. Um, and also at school, when we did tractor driving before winter break, everybody was able to drive, and luckily nobody got ran over. This is Gerald Vega, and this is for Broncos Broadcasting Network.
Thank you for joining us today for Broncos News. I'm Elias. And I'm Zane. Enjoy the rest of your day, Broncos.